Hi, I'm really excited for today's lesson. Make sure to have your number bond template ready and we'll begin right after I pour myself something to drink and I'll meet you at my desk. with our addition and subtraction sentences. So make sure you have your dry erase marker and board ready and we'll get started with the story. I went out to my garden and I picked six apples. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I picked four oranges. One, two, three, four. How many do I have all together? Do you remember your strategy? Put the larger number in your head and then count on. What's my larger number? Six or four? Six. Six and four more makes how many? 10. Can you write an addition sentence for that? Let me scoot this up. Can you write an addition sentence for my apples and my oranges? Here's how my first sentence looks. Six and four more equals 10. Is that what you wrote too? Now, what's the other addition sentence we can write using the same numbers? You got it. Just the opposite. Four plus six equals 10. Pretty easy, huh? Do you have your two addition sentences written down? Save those and I'm gonna tell you a new story and I want you to listen. I have 10 fruits sitting on my table. My kids came along and ate all six of my apples. How many fruits were left on the table? Yes, four were left. Did I have an addition sentence or a subtraction sentence? Subtraction is right. Can you write a subtraction sentence for me for what I just told you? Do you remember the strategy? We start with the largest number or we start with the whole number. How many do we have all together? Yes, 10. You can count that or you can even look here. I had 10 fruits sitting on my table. How many did my kids come and eat the first time? Yes, they ate all my apples. How many apples are there? Six. So we take away six. And how many were left on the table? You got it. Four oranges were left. 10 minus six equals four. Now, what's the other subtraction sentence we could write? Let's put everything back. Can you tell your teacher a subtraction story for the other sentence we could write? Here's my story. I still had 10 pieces of fruit on the table. My dog jumped up and ate four of the oranges. How much do I still have left on the table? Six. Can you write a sentence for that story? Or maybe you already have yours written. So we'll walk it through together. I had 10 pieces of fruit. I'll squeeze that in here. And how much did my dog eat? He jumped up and he ate four of my oranges. And how much do I have left over? You got it. I had six pieces of fruit left over. Do you see how for one problem, we can come up with four different addition and subtraction sentences. 
I love the way this all works with our number bonds. So we'll practice that some more next. Clear your board and we'll get ready for our next activity. So for this part, I have my number bond template ready. Do you have yours? Okay, we're going to use this to help us with our next activity. So watch what I do. I'm going to write an addition sentence. Let's start up here. Six and three more equals nine. Can you take what I just wrote and put it in a number bond template? Do you remember the parts of our number bond template? Part, part equals the whole. So what I like to do is let's start with the part this time. What are my two parts of my problem that equal the whole? Yes, six and three are the parts. So let's write them in my number bond template. You can write them with your marker like I am, or if you wanna get out your counters, you can put six in one circle and three in another circle. And then how much do we have all together? Six and three make, yes, nine. So let's write nine in our whole. Okay, this is what we're gonna be working with to come up with the rest of our addition and subtraction sentences. We came up with one addition sentence that we started with. What's the opposite or what's the other addition sentence we could say? Yeah, the opposite. We started with six plus three make nine. So now we use three plus six make nine. So let's write it. I have six plus three. You can look at mine and then you can just write the rest or you can copy that too. So we have this one. Now we said the opposite. Let's write it. Three plus six still makes nine. No matter which way we add, the numbers still come up with the same answer. Super important. Now that we have our two addition, let's make our two subtraction. When we do subtraction, are we gonna start with the part? No, we always start with the largest number and that's the whole. So what's our whole number? You got it the nine. Now, we're going to put the minus sign. You can choose. Do you wanna start with nine minus six or nine minus three? I'll let you write your answer and then I'll pick one. I'll start with six. Nine minus six equals, what's my only option? I have nine. I take six away, what's my only answer? Three, because these are the three numbers in my number bond. So I wrote nine minus six equals three. What's the other problem I need to write? Yes, the opposite. Nine minus three equals six. Pretty easy, huh? Each number bond comes up with four problems. Always remember that we'll have two addition and two subtraction. Was that hard or easy? This is a great way to keep practicing. So we're gonna try it one more time in a fun little game. So erase your board and we'll get started on our next activity. For this next activity, here's a fun little game I wanna show you. I'm gonna set out three numbers. You can choose to use your number bond template if you want, or you can put it to the side. But for now, I'll just show you using the number bond template. All these three belong in a number bond. I have part, part, whole. Do you see that? Six and one make seven. One and six make seven. What are my subtraction? Seven minus one makes six. 
or seven minus six leaves me one. So I just wanna show those to you in the number bond template, but for the activity, we're going to take them off. I have an addition sign on a piece of paper. You can also put them on a sticky note. I have a subtraction sign and I have an equal sign. You get to decide what you wanna make first. Do you wanna make an addition sentence first or a subtraction sentence? I'm gonna start with an addition sentence. So let me move my subtraction sign. Remember, when I do addition, I put part, part equals whole. Can you see that easy? I know it's my part because these two are smaller than my whole. That's a little strategy you can keep in mind. The biggest number is going to be your whole. So here's one addition problem. Six plus one equals seven. What's the other way I could have done it? Yes, I could have switched them around. One and six make seven. Now let's pretend I take out, or not pretend. Now let's change it. Instead of a plus sign, I put a minus sign. Can I leave these numbers the way they are? No, what do I need to do? Yes, I can't have my parts, both of them at the beginning. I need to start with my whole. Do I start right there? Mm -mm. I always start with my whole, the very first number. Seven, take away one, leaves me six. Do you see how I did this? Here's a challenge part for some of you. If this was tricky, stay here with just three numbers that make up one number bond and practice putting them in order with two addition sentences and two subtraction sentences. But if you're up for a challenge, let me move these out of the way because we used them. You can get out six numbers that make up two number bonds. So I'm gonna set these out. Now I'm gonna mix them all up. Now I have six numbers. Let's move those out of the way. Can you come up with a number bond using three of these numbers? Let's start with addition. That tends to be the easiest. Can you tell your teacher one number bond you see? I'll show you mine that I thought of. I saw the two right away and the eight. So I'm gonna put a plus sign and that makes how much? Yep, 10. Did any of you come up with the same addition problem I did? You could have come up with a lot more choices. Let's try using the other numbers to come up with another addition problem. So let's put these back. I still see a four, a five, and a nine. Can you come up with an addition problem using those three numbers? Here's mine. Five and four make nine. So this is a fun activity to Pick apart what numbers go together to make a number bond and then move them and put them in order to make an addition or a subtraction sentence. Let's do one subtraction sentence before we go. So we can at least have done one together. Take out your addition sign and put in a minus sign. The equal still can stay where it is. So if we wanna subtract, I'm gonna pick one of my biggest numbers to start with. Mm, I'm gonna go with the 10. 10 minus five. Oh, can I do that? No, this is not one of the number bonds we have, is it? It could work, but I don't have the answer, do I? 
So stick with the number bonds we have been practicing with. Oh, we did eight. 10 minus eight leaves me how much? Two is right. So practice this activity with your teacher a few times. If using six cards was pretty simple, maybe throw in three more cards to make three number bonds all together. Most of all, have fun. Bye, see you next time.